Uh, obviously, this would be anecdotal and 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 years ago now. Um, but did you find that trying to excite other people within an editorial house to be easier or, or harder? Just because I'm assuming they are uh, not hardened is the right word, but they've, they've seen some things. They've, they've been around some books. And maybe takes a little bit more to right. look your hair back than your average person, right? I don't. That's a great question. I do, you. So you're you're wondering is it is it harder to be at that editorial table trying to impress or convince your colleagues, or is it harder to be an agent trying to get an editor to look at it? Is that is that much kind more of coherent question than the one I ask? I like it. <laughs> <That's too bad. laughs> okay, great. Well, we're going to go with that. Um, I think it's. Um, I'm, this is probably a cop out answer. I think it's just kind of different um, in that you in it, within a within a publishing house within a imprint, let's say there are more senior folk and newer folk. Do you know what I mean? Younger, younger assistants. And I think there, there is, a, there is a difference there. You know, the more years and experience you have, the less, um, the more likely it is that you will be able to say, this is a project that I'm excited about and I have a vision for, and I see how to sell it. And it's going to be like X, Y, Z that I did before that, it, you know, it can't, it's not easy. I don't think ever um, for an editor to get a project through acquisitions, but it's different. The more experience you have and kind of the higher up the hierarchy you are, that's a dynamic that's at play in an editorial meeting. One of many, um, because, you know, it's an office, there's work, there's politics, there's people, you know, whatever it is, there's stuff happening there. Me calling up an editor or, or sharing a project with them is different because I'm not, you know, obviously I'm not in inside the organization, I'm not inside the institution. The politics part of it is, is different. Um, it, you know, so it's just sort of a different animal. It's a different kind of thing. Um, when you are an agent saying, I mean, I mean, if you're a good agent, you know, you have really strong relationships um, with editors and you're, you, they want to hear from you um, and you're there to do that convincing that then hopefully they will be doing with their team. You're almost kind of modeling. I think of it sometimes as like, I'm giving you the words that you could use when you are at editorial meeting. Um, to talk about this book and you know how how exciting it is, um, so it's just a different it's just a different kind of conversation I think. So um, without giving away your secret sauce, because every every agent's got their own special techniques that they like to use to, to ensure mm -hmm. their clients are the most successful. Um, but I'm a, what, what what kind of materials are you putting together to arm them to be the salesperson for mm -hmm. this book? Because you've got a convince them so thoroughly that they're going to be able to convince everybody else to get on right. board. Right. Well, it's different for different projects. Um, I think, um, I mean, really what matters most um, at the end of the day is that the pages of the project, whether that's the pages of a picture book or a YA novel or a graphic novel, whatever it is, are as strong and as compelling as they can possibly be. And then that, that's what I work on hardest and most with my clients is, is refining the project and revising it um, to where, you know, it, it is shining like gold, you know, that's what we're looking for. Knowing of course that they will edit more when they get acquired. So, you know, there will be more work to do um, always, um, but, but getting it as good and as close as we can get it. Um, depending on the project, sometimes you might want to do uh, a proposal. There's always a pitch letter that goes, that goes with it that I write and I try to, um, include all the, you know, a really snappy story description that I think is going to be compelling and grab people's attention, but also cover all the sort of pertinent sales hooks that I think are there, um, for the story. Um, in terms of positioning it. So always using um, competitive titles so that the editor can kind of instantly understand like, oh, she's thinking this, this kind of a book. Um, and if there are other key 
Um, I, I sold a picture book um, last year that um, had to do with plants and gardening and flowers and, you know, through the course of the pandemic. And, and even before that, there's been this like houseplant love um, thing happening on the internet, you know? And so we, we pulled together some, some numbers about, you know, how many Facebook groups there were and how many millions of people are, you know, buying new house, that kind of stuff, just to help. That was like a little bit of ammunition that I thought that the editor might be able to use when she went into um, her meeting to um, discuss it with sales and marketing. So talking about the market, thinking about what the sales hooks are. Um, sometimes you just want to talk about the book and why the book is just amazing. Um, depending on the project, there also are these other kind of points that I will bring up in the pitch letter.